It's one of the great races of the Australian turf, the $1 million Caulfield Cup. And tomorrow, jockey Jim Cassidy will be aboard the favourite, the lightly weighted New Zealand adjusted dancer. But as Lee McCluskey reports, having a great horse is just half the battle. You don't get a good paycheck for running second in the Caulfield Cup. It's, uh, they talk about the winner, not the runner-upper. If it's winners they talk about, Jim Cassidy is determined that he's going to be the hot topic of conversation after tomorrow's Caulfield Cup. I like to, to think that I'm on the best horse. I like to think that I'm the best jockey out there at the time and uh, the results in racing is winning and uh, that's all I've set my goals on. Kiwi! Kiwi will beat them all! It's come from last! Kiwi! Kiwi's won the Melbourne Cup! A blistering performance! And last but not least, I'd like to thank Jim Cassidy a great rider, and I thank him for riding Kiwi at his brilliant best today. Thank Jim you. Cassidy is no stranger to success. It was back in 1983 that he achieved every well, jockey's dream, the coveted the Melbourne and Cup. Kiwi's but Cassidy has always done it the hard way. Before his win in the 1986 Sydney Cup, Cassidy lived on lettuce and water for 16 days to make the 49 and a half kilo target. He says it nearly killed him. I sort of psyched myself up. I know I can't eat, and uh, my natural walking weight is probably about eight. 8283 and uh, well I've got to be really about 711 to, to ride the 50 and a half so I've done it pretty hard the last fortnight. For most of us dropping a pound or two isn't that hard but for Cassidy with not an ounce of visible fat on those bones dieting simply isn't enough to make the scales move. Great for sweating. I can get off for 2-3 pound here, spend a couple hours. Determination and dedication, I suppose, are the, are the two things you've got to be in this in this game. You know, there's a lot of good jockeys around, and uh, if you're not as fit as them, or if, if not a little bit fitter, well, you know, they're going to beat you. For the past fortnight, Cassidy has eaten virtually nothing and exercised constantly. After yet another three-hour game of tennis, he allows himself the luxury of a single cappuccino. Oh, yeah. He's got to keep his weight down, but uh, he's a very good rider. He's a very good rider, he's a very gifted rider, and he's got a lot of ability. Very dedicated from the point of view that he gives his horse just to dance an enormous chance of winning the cup. And I think he's uh, verified that by living on water and lettuce all week. Well, I think so, Jim. I want to win it, you know. Yeah, really. I think Jimmy's probably the best jockey that's ever left New Zealand. I think he's more than a jockey. I think he's a great horseman. Graham Rogerson yeah. trains just a dancer. Jim Cassidy's mount and the hot favourite for the cup. And if confidence wins races, there's plenty in this camp. Jimmy will be on absolutely no instructions tomorrow. He's ridden a horse twice in Australia and won both times on him, so I can't ask for much more than that. I just hope everything goes right for him. So what's the inside information on where the money should be tomorrow? There's 18 runners, 18 other jockeys, so uh, everyone that's in the race has got, their, has got their chance to win it anyway. And uh, plans for tomorrow night? Well, I think Crown Lagers will start favourite, win, lose or draw. And, uh, you know, tomorrow may the best man win, that's all. Gosh, what a diet. Lee McCluskey reporting.